My name is John Rizzo. Earlier this year, I participated in a transgender conference here in the U.S., and I came away thinking that I could use my skills to help them tell their story. I chose to shoot my film in the Philippines because that is a place where transgender people are culturally celebrated. However, I found out that they are not politically recognized and that discrimination still exists for them. My film, called My Transgender Life, allows the viewer to meet some very courageous and interesting transgender men and women and to hear their stories. My name is Avery Smith. Right now, I'm uh, 17 years old and I'm a grade 11 student. I have many friends that join pageant because I'm um, to raise the flag of the LGBT and trans community. I think um, people should understand that it's, it's not because the, the environment turns you like this, it's already who you are. I was born like this. When I first came out in public, that was here 2011, um, at first it was really scary because um, we don't know how the people will uh, acknowledge and you know accept us. Here in the Philippines, transgender is actually accepted unlike other countries. There's always a discrimination but um, we're trying to do our best to, to understand them. I am the only child of my mother and father is Regina Rosario and Esther Rosario. And my mother is my best friend. She is very loving and supporting mother. When I was a teenager, I had the identity crisis. My father failed me that I am a gay. It's very, very crucial part of my life because my father did not accept me at all because I'm only child, I'm a son, and it's very hard for me to hide who I am. Hi, my name is Dindi Tan. I'm wearing two hats now. Again, as I said earlier, one as a government official and two as um, a reformist in the advocacy uh, field for LGBT empowerment uh, and welfare. The decision of the president to appoint the very first transgender third level appointee in the government was a welcome gesture because for the longest time we have wanted to break glass ceiling for people to be able to serve in national post. That's why whatever happened in the past, um, when, when I was abandoned when I was 14, I never stopped. I didn't stop. Like, I didn't get the family support that most kids got um, when they were young. I never got the guidance. As a young child, mostly because of religion, I'm Bems Benedito. I'm a proud transgender woman, and I used to be part of Ang Ladlad Political Party. In 2010 and 2013, we were able to muster like 120,000 to 150,000 votes. At that time, you only need 200,000 votes to be able to get a seat in Congress. So that close, that fight was very close. 